Hey guys, this is Vishal and I'm live and I got delayed by nine minutes. Again, apologies for changing laptops. Right. <clears throat> so how are you doing on this absolutely brilliant weekend and where I am relatively free this weekend where not working or not doing seminars. So I have a lot of time to read, back test, look at charts and also do some video for you. So what's your plan and where are you logging in from? Can you guys hear me properly? Okay, Mumbai, Bangalore, Pune, and we have uh yes yes good 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 all right so let me just uh just we're going to talk about market and something interesting coming up so let's check that a uh, couple of charts for the coming week yet to finish my own homework but i saw something so i'll share that and meanwhile you also share with your friends the video here which we are sharing so that they also learn something about the market and as i mentioned yesterday uh, our options uh, webinar which was awaited since a long time is live and the replay is available it's an on demand thing you can go and watch it anytime just go to this link which is malkanwebinar.com forward slash om and you'll be able to see the replay there so let's now let me put the chart on. Okay. Okay, this is different. Can you guys see me and see my chart? I think you can. So let me check on my own phone so that I can confirm. Yes, I think we are live and I think you can. Let me check on I can see this. There's a chart you can see. Yes. You can hear me also. Hmm. Yes, I think we are live and I think you can. I can see this. There's a chart you can see. Yes. You can hear me also. Hmm. I can see on my phone. You can see the chart also. You can see the see me also. And I'm looking better day by day as i'm working out <coughs> to lose some weight so very soon some effect is already there yes so let's get started uh and yes i want you to share this video on this weekend uh so that more people and i i'm what whether you are part of options mastery season two or not whether you want to join or not whether you want to trade or not i just wanted to go and check this webinar it is full of information and stats and facts and what we can expect in 2020. So make sure you check that. And also there is an option that if you have a question or a query for option season two, <clears throat> you can even schedule a call with one of my team members so they can answer your, all your queries. And by the way, tomorrow I'm live in Mumbai, uh, the clubs morning 10 to one. Uh, the ultimate option expiry special strategy, which I'm going to teach there. So be there on time. Okay, so let's now get back to the market. So this is the screen. So I'm going to check a couple of stocks and let's make it full screen here. And let's make it three years. Okay, let's make it five years. Yeah, so that's the that's not the one which I want to talk about right now. That's although this also looks interesting from a chart perspective. And I would love to go to Oro Pharma. Okay, Oro Pharma is uh, where we are right now. And that is, uh, let's start with the monthly chart of Oro Pharma, which would be interesting. So we can see a small candle here on Oro Pharma, like uh, the second last candle 
and the third last candle is like a spinning top Sec second last candle is a very small candle so what does the spinning top suggest if you have no if you don't still don't know about it then you haven't seen tuesday technical talk well in the last almost two years 104 episode five episodes so where i spoke about a seven star candle pattern and uh, it's called spinning top with high volume which in fact is present here followed by a small candle which we call an indecisive candle and like a what we call as a, a neutral candle uh, and then the follow up this month candle which is january is trying to cross the high of indecisive candle which already crossed it so that is one good news on this and if we cross the high of spinning top which is around 508 that means we are out of danger and then we can expect a good rally on this one now this is just a, a broad analysis which we are talking about right now on oro pharma but then we can go in detail go to weekly chart from a weekly chart perspective we can look at that okay there is a rally towards moving average now moving average 20 is like a strong resistance so it can act as resistance in the next couple of days but it crosses 20 moving average that would be a good signal because you can see this here it did not cross so in the last uh, all, almost 2019 half six months it did not cross that after the downtrend so if it crosses that would be a change in signal change in trend the green candle showing good volumes and the red candle showing less volumes that's a good sign and then we go into daily chart and look at that daily looks like a squeeze on this uh, plus there's a 60 support on daily some volume not that great volume so that is the signal for uh, coming week for a couple of days also it is good if it crosses this squeeze open that would be a good trade for a couple of days and overall also if it crosses the weekly moving average then it could be a positional trade now am i going in the right direction so i generally look at what we call as top down approach right now what do you mean by top down approach come on comment what do what we should see first if you are a part of inner circle anybody part of inner circle like inner circle we we have promised you live live support live trading support uh, some swing trades positional trades uh, market view like this market update in a detailed way and one book summary and you know what next week i'm going to record the video on the book summary one of my favorite book and like i have read that book like 17 18 times megna has read that the book so long, so many times and we had great made some great summary so i reread the whole book fast and and that video i'm going to record for my inner circle those who are into inner circle uh, and that's a yearly membership or a quarterly membership you can check out and if you are not yet and you are regular following me then you should check uh, this link just take down this link called malkansview.com uh, malkansview.com it is uh, let me just say malkansview.com where i'm going to give that video recording of that book and i think one of the fa my favorite book is and the legendary trader is jesse livermore if you don't know him you should look up look read about him he's no more but he was one of the legendary traders in in the market and i'm going to make a summary of that book and then i'm going to make a video of that book and that's going to come into your membership site those who are into trading in a circle and trader in me program now so yes many of you answered the right question which is market sector uh yes that's a good answer it says nikti then sector and some of you others also gave that market sector stock that's called top down approach so if i'm going in the right direction for oro pharma how do i know that is by checking nifty which we already know it's trading at all time high so no need to check that so i would like to check sector so I go and check some other stocks on pharma stocks, which would be Dr. Reddy. And that looks good. The squeeze is already open on Dr. Reddy. So that means we are in the right direction, but we need more confirmation, right? We don't want to gamble. We don't want to speculate. We don't want to take chances. We want to go with high probability, right? So high probability on this would be, this is also doing good 60 weekly cross. So Dr. Reddy looks good. Then if you look at, dv's lab means all pharma stocks we need to check right then otherwise no point then top down approach 
and that's DV's lab for you. It's loading. And that is trading at all time high. So no problem on that. Then we look at Sun Pharma. And yeah, that looks like it is very similar to what we saw was Auro Pharma. It's in the squeeze mode on the weekly. And on the daily, we can check if it is just cross 60 near the resistance. But nothing wrong, right? So nothing bearish about it. So we don't need to worry about it. And let's say last week and look at Lupin. So, and Lupin also, I guess it's doing well. That's a good green candle on, on Friday. Let's look at the weekly chart of it. Weekly is taking support on moving average. So that's also good. And let's take a proper view of the weekly chart by getting, yes, that's getting consolidated. So nothing bearish about it. So I think this is a good pick or a pharma for the next few days, which would be helpful to trade. And even if you don't trade, it will still learn a lot from that, which is uh, this is how we do analysis, right? This is what I do for my trading inner circle, trading trader in me program, 10x trader program, or whatever you part of any of our programs. So I think this is very interesting. Did we guys just did just five minutes of this analysis, how much time it took? Five, 10 minutes. But is it so powerful? Isn't it helping you a lot? Are you learning from this? What we are doing, simple stuff, right? A lot of, yes. Are you guys learning from this? Okay, I forgot by, by mistake. Yes. Yes. So you can see the chart. So what, what lesson do you learn from this? What lesson, just how much time, like 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. And we already uh, know something about the market, which can help us trade in the market, right? Which can help us understand the market, which is so powerful right now. Yes. Like that, you can do this same exercise for auto sector. Then you can do this the same exercise for uh, metal sector. Then you can do this. You can do for um, what do you have? Uh, energy sector, reality sector, uh, then uh, cement sector. And then we can look at all the sectors like that. Yeah. So we view driven from top, right? So that's one. Uh, one analysis which I wanted to share. That means what we are looking at that pharma stocks, which were which were beaten down badly since the last couple of years. Some of them, not all of them, like Lu Dr. Reddy and DVs are doing better. But if you look at Lupin, Oro Pharma, all these stocks are beaten down, and but they are making some great base and say great support and building. The stronger the base, stronger the uh, the what we call as the uh, foundation that much longer and stronger would be the building or the skyscraper so we don't know it may take uh, like uh, another month or maybe two months to start a rally but still not bad right so once we know how we can analyze so last week we had our inner circle trade and i inner circle uh, two trades i gave one was ioc which got stopped out for two rupees, which was a swing trade. And one was the positional trade. So let me show you the IOC trade, which is uh, which got stopped out. Only two rupees on that. Not bad. And I think it's there's a re-entry also possible. Let's see if there's a re-entry or not. So that's the monthly chart of IOC, which is monthly 40, which is not bad, uh, which is looking at support. Weekly slightly is uh, damaged in the last week because of that red candle and you can see that rsi let me just enhance the data yeah that's that's not a good sign that's why i would be cautious right now and then i can look at daily chart which is oh that's showing some supporty support so if it turns from here we, there can be a re-entry in ioc so i'll keep that updated in the inner circle group and uh, the other stock which I gave in in the circle, which now has already achieved first target, is Apollo Hosp. No, sorry, Apollo Tire. Apollo Tire. 
and that also we discussed in abct 3 sorry in abct system 3 uh, mumbai abct last week and we said that we are going to buy apollo tire at 170 and from 170 which was somewhere here and in all the five days it went up from 170 to 180 83 something and that hit the first target and now it's still looking good it's still working on the bands volumes are great rsi about 60 daily then weekly also good bullish candle right and then there is one more thing called uh, uh, look at the monthly chart of it slightly moving slow yes some of you traded apollo tires if you made money in apollo tire put that in the comment section i shared that in inner circle i shared that in abct so that yeah, so that's and don't forget to watch this webinar on options it's the options mastery season two which is i think the world's best options program ever is launched in fact i said the same thing when i did season one but now we have improvised that we have added some additional advanced tools and techniques into that that's why i'm again doing live and i'm so proud of that because that's something what i think is something i can say uh, original and invented or proprietary but i don't put a tag of proprietary or i don't put my strategy or something my students teach it my other students my competitors also teach the same and all that doesn't matter there's enough for everybody in the market let everybody make money let everybody learn and teach and whatever they want to do doesn't matter so you can take away the strategy from me but you can't take away my passion from me so that's i'm not worried about that part of it and it's good right because i can't even serve everybody and not everybody can come to me maybe some because of language or because of uh, uh, money or because of whatever city travel so that's okay so uh, that's the only thing what you need to do is make money doesn't matter how yes you made money on apollo tire yes you made money on apollo tire fantastic keep sharing keep sharing all right so we did the analysis of the whole pharma sector then we did the analysis of apollo tire and ioc uh, and then we can look at one more chart as a closing bell closing bell for the show apollo tire yes six rupees and going good thank you so much thank you so much for that comment you are great nothing is great it's life has taught me all this great lessons by doing all the mistakes and the blunders and big blunders in the market so i think market is my guru of course i have learned a lot from other gurus also a lot of them mentors and coaches but market is the biggest coach so it humbles you down like gone are those days when i can say like it is my strategy and i told you this and it went up and i made money and you didn't make money and all that stuff that time is gone because market has humbled us so many times after that so that now i can't say that oh i told you this it's about the market it's respect the market and that's it right so uh uh let's do one more stock before we go so that would be a good homework good lead for your next week and yes so let's take uh, one of the stock which i am tracking personally would be from the power sector tata power okay so let's start with tata power daily chart or we can start from the monthly chart first top down approach so there are two top down approach one is the market then the sector then the stock and then we have another top down approach which is the monthly weekly and daily so that's the monthly chart of tata power and let's do one more yeah 10 years so this is a good nice bottom you can see a 40 support there's a hammer here and the hammer is already confirmed on that so that's that's confirmation on monthly chart 40 support all good then we look at the weekly chart which is working like a double bottom double hammers 40 range shift all good and a confirmation to this hammer on the weekly which is crossing a moving average uh, almost after three months that's also a good sign and maybe what we can do is here uh, we should use uh, our golden ratio technique plus some trend lines which is must for as a trader technical analyst you need to know this simple tools and i know you know what the simple tools are enough to make money so that's near the trend line right now and you can change the trend line like this also but i would prefer to do this and you can watch my tuesday technical talk on trend lines also 
And then we have uh, Fibonacci uh, ratio, which I can look at this one, like this is 38% right now, 50% would be 67 and 61% would be 71. So that is what we can expect uh, in the next couple of weeks on Tata Power, uh, if it confirms uh, the next week breakout. And this is 23% on the bigger swing, so golden ratio, that's the what we call as cluster of support or cluster of resistance. So there is some resistance here, which is around 62, with the trend line resistance, the 38%, the 23%. So if it crosses 62, then we can straight away look at 68, which is 6%, which is 10% on the stock, six rupees, 10%. So, and that's not bad money if you trade even one lot or you can trade in cash. Uh, don't get carried away by the lot size because if it goes the other side, you can't, won't be able to handle the situation. So I would suggest to stick to uh, cash if you can't buy 100 shares, buy 200 shares. It's more about getting the confidence and the learning and the skill. Once you make money, then you know how to increase the quantity as it is, right? But right, if you if you lose money at the start of the market, at the start of your game, or at the, as a beginner, then that will damage your confidence and damage your capital, which is very difficult to bring back. Uh, and, and it takes a lot of time and effort to come back and many people don't even come back, right? So that's my advice. And I hope this was a very informative session for you. I already gave you some leads for the next week, next month, or what you can track. Uh, if you like this video, I would suggest you can share what one thing you learned from this video, you can comment right now so I can see what, what, what was the learning point. Come on quickly, more, make it more interactive. Tomorrow I'm in Mumbai, tomorrow 10, 10, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. on Dairy. If you want to learn the most simplest, powerful option strategy, uh, go to malkanseminar.com, right? Uh, it's going to be live, means I'm going to be three three hours seminar in Mumbai. This first time I'm doing uh, like an option strategy for three hours. And it's, it's a paid program, but hardly anything. You can look at the malkanseminar.com. Plus you get some bonus videos also, so don't worry about that. It's hardly anything like it's the cost of like going for a movie or a dinner for two or three people. That's how it is. Okay, great. I can hear us. I can good news made 25,000 in Apollo tires. That's great news. Uh, thank you so much. Great consistency. Thank you so much. And yes, I learn stock analysis. Always follow the leader. Yes. Thank you so much. Then we can top down approach i'm attending seminar tomorrow welcome tomorrow i'll see you there and you are going to love it right and don't miss the webinar also that's very important which is malkanwebinar.com for slash on thanks for the analysis you're welcome learn unlearn and relearn yes thank you so much for that comment analyzing market and stock. Thank you so much. Anniversary date next week of market crash of 2008. Wow, what a memory. I have great memory of that day. That's my turning point of life. 2008, 21st January. Market crashes, 22nd January, another crash and market hits lower circuit. And that was the best day of my life till that point of time in my trading career. Of course, after that, I had a lot of them. All right, so are you guys happy with this video session? I hope you learned something. Make sure you share this video and see you tomorrow Mumbai live or maybe another video or malkanwebinar.com. Option season two is starting. Don't miss out this one. I am uh, offering this with some additional strings, additional strategies, advanced strategies, plus keeping the price same of options mastery season one for few days, just go and check it out. After that, it will go up to season two price. So don't miss out, right? It's working, the replay is there, and I think it's awesome. Thank you so much, good luck, good trading. See you soon again.